and stun onto the mage and a convoke used on a half stun. An instant block is forced and... Here we see a ferocious Ferrodred against a demon hunter and a shaman. Here the battle will commence as the spectral eye is used and the Ferrodred must open a full trap placed onto the shaman. Berserk from the Ferrodred will proc the pod and immediately terminate the match with a victory. GG to that team this time round. Here we have uh, the team once again coming up against uh, a rogue and a shaman. We will have to see how they decide to take on this battle. One fully believes that the match will be taken with the rogue being the target for this fight. But they must open first before the rogue is to open. So the hunter begins combat, forcing the astral shift. Now the feral dread has opened onto the rogue. Bash onto the shaman into the full clone. Protecting a trinket, but then it being used later. A scatter and a half trap from the hunter led to a convoke being used, which was actually very much wasted by the fucking feral and his potato ways. They are now attacking onto the shaman just a little bit. The rogue has now reopened, and it is time to resume combat on the rogue. A smoke bomb has been dropped, and they must now keep trying to fight while on the back foot. A full stun placed onto the shaman. I apologize. Onto the rogue. The feral runs away and decides to heal up his hunter buddy in hopes to secure a victory very soon. A full trap placed onto the shaman and a battle master's trinket used by the rogue. Full kidney onto the feral. No trinket available, but he does get swapped off of, and he will live to see another day. A clone onto the shaman allows the hunter to finish the rogue, ending in another win. GG. Here we see our boys coming up against a dreaded combo amongst the community. A fire mage and a subtlety rogue. This is going to be a tricky matchup for the team. What can they do to try and become victorious? The mage is now out of stealth and we must see what our boys are able to accomplish. They are taking their time to open but caution is sometimes required in such cases. They open onto the rogue. There is a counter spell on the clone. Instant turtle from the hunter as well. Very well played. Now they are just going to try and open onto the mage. Get a little bit of damage. Stun onto the mage and a convoke used on a half stun. An instant block is forced and this team are on the aggression and ahead of this other team. Smoke bomb has been dropped. The rogue is dropping incredibly low. But he is not dead yet. A cloak has been used, but it is not going to be enough. And the rogue will fall to this team. A formidable opponent. With the gates thrown to open, they come up against a red paladin and demon hunter. Quickly, 
the demon hunter was engaged, but the Pharaoh did fuck up the original engagement, which is going to be not so good for our team here. The Red Palace taking a lot of damage, the Pharaoh got hunted and also took a lot of damage. They are both very low, and one simply cannot begin to imagine what horrors are to await. As the Pharaoh sits in bear form, he is going to go down. Now we have the team coming up against a Frost Death Knight and Holy Paladin. We will have to see what can be accomplished in this fight. We do believe at this point in time, knowing the Feral, he will open on the Death Knight first, which is indeed correct, and a lot of damage has been pumped, full stun onto the monk, the paladin, I apologize, and a blessing of protection used onto the Death Knight. Battlemaster's Trick it also used, and a stun onto the Feral. He is incredibly low at this point, uh, kiting the Death Knight, but still very low, and it is looking very sketchy for our Feral Druid. He's casting some regrowths and is able to get off one, but is still just kiting away incredibly low on hit points. Able to get up some HP, still kiting because one simply cannot attack with the damage that is being taken. Freedom used onto the Death Knight, and still the Pharaoh is low HP. He has not really been able to do anything in this matchup so far, apart from run and attempt to heal. The Death Knight is taking an incredible amount of damage it is still living for it. Looks like the Pharaoh wants to go for a restealth and gets it uh, stunned onto the Holy Paladin. And looks like he's going to do an attack onto him for a short period to drop some HP. A stun onto the Paladin and heals being used onto the, the Hunter. Hodge onto the Feral, the boof. The enemy teammates are very high on HP for now. And the hunter perishes to them. This one is a loss. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Really appreciate it. If you liked it, be sure to hit the thumbs up button for me. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. And remember to turn on the bell notifications. And if you want to, leave a comment. That would also be awesome. See you in the next one, hopefully. Take care, and bye for now.